Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here, and uh, I'm going to do a uh, an after-the-fact commentary, a commentary battle for Napoleon Total War, and this is when I was uh, doing co-commentary with the Ryan King and Pixelated Apollo um, just a few days ago, and I had the bright idea, hey, you know, let's go ahead and and make a replay of this so I can get some, some content on my channel. And I completely forgot all the details of these battles. And uh, here is the uh, problemo here. I don't remember who was who. Like, obviously, this is going to be me here. Right here. But it's not labeled. Once the battle starts, I'm going to forget who's controlling who. That's really bad. I don't know why they, uh, they did the replays like this, not put the names by each player. So, yeah, I don't remember the details. Oh, actually, I, I kind of do. Marshall Ney was um, Pixelated Apollo. Let's see if that actually helps me knowing. Marshall Ney! And then um, the Ryan King was using uh, Soul. I'm just going to hope you guys recognize the commanders. I kind of don't remember the the differentials. But yeah, for this battle, we were kind of effing around. We are like, hey, let's bring the historical commanders. Like, we chose, like, like top expensive commanders for our battles. I, I was tasked with using Napoleon himself. This guy is super expensive. So we were just having a good time with this battle. Like, we're having a good time with the stream in general. Like, I hadn't played Napoleon in what years? I remember I, I covered a, a replay for somebody else, like uh, sometime this year, I think, but it, it wasn't my battle. Like, I, I really haven't played this game in like forever. So there's my Napoleon. Now, uh, I'm waiting for the replay from Pixelated. I didn't save it, but uh, we played a map in our second battle during our stream called the Austrian Pinnacles, and it's a more extreme version of this. You get to you get to run to the top, and uh, yeah, I failed horribly in that battle. I was the reason why we lost the second battle. Um, I'm gonna show that battle once I get the replay. But this map, it kind of reminded me of the Austrian Pinnacle, except that uh, this one isn't as extreme. You can see it's a, a bit more flat, but there is still kind of a race to get to this more uh, elevated platform. But uh. Learning from my, my battle in the in the, the, the second the second session, I was like, I am not gonna let what happened in that battle happen here. Basically what happened in that in that second battle, my entire army got tied down by two cavalry units from the enemy. So that was my lesson going into this fight. That I wasn't gonna let my entire army get bogged down by just two units. So I learned. Uh one of my problems with playing a uh, Empire and Napoleon, even though I loved those games, it meant that I would not play Medieval 2 or Rome for a while whenever I played these games because the camera control is way different, the unit control is way different, so I made it a point not to play one or the other if I was playing one game. I, you know, I'm not going to switch between Napoleon and Rome, Napoleon and Rome. I, I might do that, but not on purpose. I just hate how different the games feel. So, I don't remember who is who in these battles either, unfortunately. It's kind of a bummer doing these replays, I, now that I remember. Because uh, for a 1v1, it's easy to remember who was who, but in a team battle, it's it going to be impossible to, to figure out who's commanding what. But at least you can look at all the pretty, all the pretty visuals here. Because these, these team battles in Napoleon are massive. And what I liked about Napoleon and Empire is how strategic these uh, battles were. Uh, the problem was, uh, these battles, it, it involved a lot of uh, camping. Because in order to uh, exchange fire with your opponent, basically whoever uh, moved first would 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 you know get uh, volleyed first by the enemy uh, enemy guns. So it was a, it was a disadvantage to be you know, to move right in front of a, of an opponent. Uh, generally speaking. So anyways, uh, here I am rushing to the top. I I'm this side. I'm about to get howitzered here. 
But I saw the enemy uh, cav coming. Here, I can see where, where my guys are going. Can I see where the my allies are going? Yeah, I can actually. Kind of. Not as cool as my as mine though. I can just see their trajectory their trajectory. On mine, I can see exactly where I want my guys to go. So, my opponent is uh, getting a lot closer to this area before me. So, I, I end up deploying, I think, in these, uh, in the foliage here. So, if you're wondering why, why my artillery is not firing yet, it's because I'm moving them into position first. I got two six-pound howitzers here. But once they start firing, um, they're, they're gonna rock. So yeah, here, here I was a lot more conservative with my army. I didn't want to like, throw all my my entire army into one or two uh, enemy units. So here I put some of my, my voltageurs. Actually just one unit over here. So we're gonna line up. Now, in these battles, I, again, I hadn't played it forever, and I was never really great at Napoleon. So, when I was playing this game during the sessions, I was basically just, just, uh, you know, just trying to hold out, you know, hoping I, I don't die. So, I wasn't playing too, uh, too crazy in these, in these battles. So, this is an interesting, uh, position here. My opponent can come up here, but then he has to come up this elevated position. In which case, my guys would just form it a square. So, I, I put my, my skirmishers in the front lines because they have a range edge over my opponent. And now that I actually zoom in here, I don't think I'm actually hitting his guys over on this side because of this elevated terrain. Let's see. Oh, actually, I am kind of hitting them. They must be uh, kind of curving the... Uh, the uh, the the ammo over this area. These Highland Foots are, are going to uh, move in a little bit closer. I'll try to get into range of my of my skirmishers, and I believe they are still out of range. No, no, they're firing back now. Let's see what's happening elsewhere. So he moved up, way up here, and there is some melee combat over on the, for the center here. Gosh, I don't remember who this was. I believe this is pixelated. I I, I don't I don't remember though, because I honestly I can't tell the difference between Soul and Marshall Ney just by by visually looking at him. I haven't played this game in forever, and I don't remember what they look like historically. I do apologize. What's he's happening over on this side? Oh, sorry, I I'm on the right, and then this is the left. I'm pretty sure this is Soul though, but or Soul is uh, the Ryan King. But you see how massive these battles are? It's crazy. Oh yeah, so with these skirmishers. You know, I, I ended up pushing them out here so, so I, I can shoot at these uh, Dragoons who I saw just chilling down there. I believe I scared these guys away into the forest, but they, they lost some, uh, some horses. So yeah, definitely getting my, my skirmishers into uh, range. And uh, he's going to counter by putting his, his uh, rifles up. Oh, but at this point, yeah, I finally got my howitzers in position. And this is why, you know, I... I decided, hey, not to deploy them immediately. I wanted to move them up and then and then deploy so that they have more effective uh, killing range on the opponent's uh, main body. So it's kind of a gamble not to have your guys uh, unlimbered. But I figure, hey, you know, when the action does happen, I want my my howitzers to be uh, racking these guys really hard. So look at all these dead uh, British units over here. And now that my howitzers and my skirmishers are in position, he is taking a lot of, of damage right now. Man, the game, the, uh, the yeah, the, the game visuals are so pretty in Napoleon. 
Wait, he went for a charge here. I kind of saw it late, so I, I countercharged with my Cheval Leger. Kind of late, too. So I might end up losing these skirmishers. Oh. <laughs> Can't tell if I'm hitting my own guys or that's the enemy hitting their own guys. Our brave ally has fallen, sir. But yeah, I think we lost uh, Marshal Ney at this point. Because remember, we started laughing that Marshal Ney was dead. And we couldn't uh, use him as an excuse anymore for losing if we lost. Yeah, this guy's losing a lot of units over here too. See that? There's also a lot of dead French units too. Oh man, look at this! This is where those uh, where that cav engagement was happening earlier at, the, at the, towards the beginning. So yeah, when, during the stream, you know, I wasn't, I didn't really get to watch the side of the battlefield. Because I, I was just so preoccupied in remembering how to play, getting comfortable. And if you haven't played a game that much, or if you haven't played in a while, it's kind of overwhelming at first. So, for me, that that results in me, you know, not talking much. I, I, I kind of freeze up, so I, I can try to get comfortable with the game. Uh, but this guy, I believe this is the Ryan King, he's doing really well on this side. He is definitely giving it to these uh, British units over here. Now this rock is uh, is affecting the uh, maneuvering over on that side. I got some men running over here for some reason. Oh yeah, so... His Dragoons came up. I forgot what's happening, I think we were kind of going back and forth with my, my Skirmishers and his Dragoons. And then at some point he forgot that his uh, Dragoons were still chilling right here. So I think my guys are firing, but they're not hitting too many of them. Like, you, you can see they hit like, what, two, two of them just now? Again, I think the uh, the terrain is, is blocking my trajectory here. Something says, eat bread, monsieur. Oh man, look at all my dead French units over here. Even the phones. So this battlefield is littered with the bodies of many uh, young soldiers, and for probably some older ones too. Especially if anyone brought the old guard. I don't remember if I brought the old guard or not. Okay, now whoever this guy is, he is getting uh, a bit surrounded. One of our units has uh, at least these teams are getting surrounded here. Stick it to him! Oh yeah, so speaking of old, here are the old guard. These guys kick butt in melee. You do not want to get into melee with a, a healthy unit of old guards. They will make you pay. You would need like three or four units in melee to uh, to beat these guys. If you're just using regular uh, like fusil or uh, foot infantry. If you're not using elites, then you're going to have a hard time beating the old guard. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh no! I hit the end button by accident. That zooms in and that caused some lag just now. My bad. Our men are running, sir! Alright, I got some men running over here for some reason. So he destroyed this whole line. Well, at least half my line here of uh, Fusil. No, more than half of my line. They're down to 39 from 120. Right, so we got some uh, line infantry. Oh no, these are the Black Watch. These guys are elite. I got some skirmishers harassing them though. So, exchanging fire, you know, my guys are going to do a good job. But in a melee fight, these guys will kill my skirmishers. If I was watching, you know, I would, I would definitely pull my skirmishers back if, if I saw them uh, charging me. Oh yeah, I think I had Napoleon uh, bolster my guys. Napoleon! Speaking of Napoleon, I, I, Our men are running, I kept Napoleon sir. way back out here because he's an expensive unit. I didn't want to lose him. This member I said that, I don't want to lose him.
Uh, I think the biggest problem with this game is the artillery. There is no ammo supply. That is not realistic at all. Because, you know, while your foot units have, uh, have, have an ammo supply, I, I don't know why they made the artillery unlimited. Because that, that's just kind of ridiculous. Our men are because running, it, sir. It, in a long running battle, if you don't kill the enemy's artillery, the enemy artillery is going to kill you. Because at that point, it, it becomes an invincible unit. If you don't have artillery, because they can just keep firing and firing and firing, and there's no limit to how many times they can fire. I feel like that's something they can still go back and fix. Just remove the artillery un unlimited ammo, but that's kind of an arcade feature. Like, if this is Rome 1 and you had uh, unlimited ammo, that would be considered arcade style. We have killed their general, Someone's sir. commander has now bit the dust. They must break. <clears throat> if you look at the mini map, you know, we got all these, uh, all these blue units, but it, it, it still seems like there's a lot of red units. The red units are the enemy here, but the red units are a lot more scattered. And remember, this is my side right here. This is my side of the battlefield. And in the middle, this is where, gosh, I don't remember if that was, oh, okay. So it, it's labeled now. It says soul. In the middle is um, the Ryan King, so he was consolidating his units, and he was asking me to bring my, my troops over when I could, if I remember correctly. And I've got my, my Cav uh, smacking the enemy from behind. He's like, yeah, I, I brought a lot of Cav to my fights. And I was using them in reserve to. Uh, One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. But I use them to, to kill the my opponent's artillery. I use them to go for the enemy's commander. I think the enemy's commander got away though. And uh, I use them to strike down skirmishers. So my cab did a lot of damage in this fight. I, I just didn't really watch him in the replay. All right, we got Fusiliers taking on these uh, Blackwatch. They were depleted though. Otherwise. Fusiliers versus Blackwatch. Blackwatch would win if it was a healthy fight for the Blackwatch. But it looks like we have a lot more uh, uh, blue units on the on the map there. But yeah, uh, the Ryan King was telling me to uh, bring my troops over. As you can see, he's preparing for the uh, the British onslaught. And uh, it looks like Ryan has uh, staked out this position. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. And, and this is where it sucks because now I don't know if any of these units are pixelated. I'm sure there are. I just there's no label on these uh, units here. It just says France and what kind of unit it is. So yeah, I wanted to make sure I, I beat my opponent before I brought my troops over. He still has this unit down here who are into uh, in a square because remember I had my, my cav roaming around. So these guys formed up into a square. So I'm almost positive I do send units back here to, to deal with it, but I didn't I didn't want that one unit uh, hanging out behind me. Was it these guys? I got 73 Fusiliers of the line versus 48 uh, Great Britain foot. And plus I'm coming downhill with a charge, so I'm pretty sure this is going to favor me hardcore. Infantry reporting. So I'm going in with the uh, the bayonet. It says combat is even. It's really not even though because these French uh, uniforms are so beautiful. So I think in that regard, it it can never be even. Yeah. So the reason why I didn't record. Uh, any battles after the first battle is because I use fraps when I record my, my replays and that takes a lot of hard drive space so I, I turn off my recording re equipment after the first battle because otherwise I would have preferred showing the live commentary because then you can hear all this talking and you can see all the units labeled you can see who's who with the replay you know I forget a lot of the details and, and you miss a lot of the action because I don't remember what's happening when and where so yeah but look how much cab I have over here. I got a lot of cab, and yeah, I was using them to uh, glorious victory, to sir. ride down soon to be yours. to ride down uh, enemy units. Yeah, 
But now, you know, now I'm bringing my... Well, I should be bringing my units over. Looks like my guys are just chilling. Well, these guys are tired. They have an excuse. They just fought. These guys should be pushing up. But at least my howitzers are rolling now. And that's good. They, they're full strength, these howitzers. So yeah, I'm going to move these guys, I think, around this side. I can form up on... On, uh, oh my gosh, the Ryan King's uh, flank here. Oh yeah, I remember uh, whoever this guy is. He's going to form up like, what, four or five uh, units across from my cab here. Oh, here comes a little uh, cab charge by the lifeguards. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. They ran into those uh, pikes there. Like, we were all watching when they were charging up. And if you remember the, the first battle that we had, I set up some stakes too. The enemy rolled right through him, and then I don't think a single horse got impaled by him. I was like so disappointed by that. Now, my problem at this stage is uh, most of my guys don't Sir, have ammo. Sir, our general is under attack. So I was telling the Ryan King that I'm like, dude, I don't have any ammo. So I think he's gonna peel back uh, a few units to help me because uh, this guy. He has these really healthy, well that one's not healthy, but he has some really healthy units coming up to form up against me. And I believe these guys still have ammo. But at least I've, I've got my howitzers who can form into, um, oh my gosh, the, the shrapnel attack. The, the canister shot, sorry, the canister shot. So they, they, they kind of function as a, as a high powered infantry unit when the enemy gets close enough with the, uh, the canister shot. They just can't fight melee. Not very well anyways. So these guys have ammo. I don't know if I'm hitting these guys, but a lot of times in this game, if the enemy forms behind a line and your guys can't even see him visually, they'll still try to shoot uh, through the hill. So you have to watch out for that because the ammo does run out really fast in in uh, Napoleon. But yeah, now I got my howitzers firing. Like, at least I have this going for me, my howitzers, because again, unlimited ammo. So I'm able to uh, to do the that. Fatigued, sir, and, and must rest a while. I don't think the enemy knows that my guys don't have ammo. So he sees me forming into a line, and so he's like, "Oh, you know, we gotta exchange fire. It's gonna slow him down psychologically." So that'll give my artillery some time to uh, to shoot at them. But yeah, this is totally my side right here. And uh, Ryan does have units helping me too. I don't remember which ones are his. Now here we got some good old fashioned uh, British discipline. Our men are running, yeah, they got sir. this artillery shooting at them, but they are just standing there in... In disciplined formation. It's pretty intimidating. At least in real life it'd be, it'd be intimidating. But yeah, this is a lot of firepower on this side. I, I could not hold out against this. Because my cav, you know, I've got a lot of cav. Oh, no I don't. But all these guys have to do is form in a square. So I think Ryan is... Oh yeah, Ryan told me to move my, my guys out here because these two guys were getting... Sh they were uh, blocking his view. So I have to move them out of the way. Here's Napoleon! Dun dun! I'm trying to pull my skirmishers back so I can fire uh, with canister. And here's my other guys. These guys are, are going into canister. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Let's watch the canister uh, kill some of these units here. It's, it's doing some damage, but this guy knows he he knows what's up. He's gonna charge in before you know artillery can do, do do too much damage to him. Come on, canister! Yeah, I don't think they got that last canister shot. Nope. What about over here? Let's watch over here. see him. 
Come on, canister. Let's see it. Oh, yeah, there you go. He knocked a few units down. Oh, that was a good one. That, that one knocked him out. Now, here comes the second line. Let's see if my canister get them. To the standard! To the wall! Retreat! The Young Guard. That's definitely not my guys, because I, I never brought the Young Guard in, in any of the fights here. I do like the Young Guard, though. It's kind of like the, uh, the Walmart version of the Old Guard. Oh, look at Napoleon going into fight. Oh, no, that's not Napoleon. That's, that's uh... Soul, who was commanded by the Ryan King. But if you look at the map, you know, we own this battlefield. But yeah, it sucks that I, I, you know, you highlight a unit, you don't know who's who. So I don't remember which ones are pixelated, which ones are Ryan's. But I do remember, you know, uh, in retrospect, Ryan was uh, Soul. And Sol was the middle of the of our position. He was the center. So we're gonna clean up in the in this side. And then we got some six pounders coming this way. So this is just a crew. Because, you know, I, I think we wrecked their artillery equipment. We got some voltageurs. Attaque! Now, if you look at the mini-map, there is a, a lone uh, unit down there that is a command unit. I remember what happens at the end. Uh, we all send our cavalry to, to get them. I believe it was the Duke Wellington out there. Every unit over here broke. They saw this uh, French uh, swarm coming at them. So... You know, I think people wanted to send just our command units, but I had my cavalry still. I'm like, I'm going to send my, my cavalry out here. But yeah, this is definitely the Duke of Wellington. So I have Napoleon coming, I have, uh, we have Sol coming at him. And then plus my Cheval Leger. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Marshal Ney did bite the dust early in the fight. We are all laughing at that, it was so funny. But, uh, previously, we we're, were joking about the movie, Waterloo. We're, we're, it's, it's based on history, obviously, but... The point starts blaming Ney on his defeat. Ordre bien reçu. Our men are running, sir. À vos ordres. There's Napoleon! Napoleon! I'm looking where, where Sol is. If I remember Sol was... Is he ahead of me? I don't see him. Or is he with me here? Where is Sol at? Because I remember Ryan told me he was charging. Oh, there he is. He's on, he's on the side. L let's look at him so I, so I remember what he looks like. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So Soul's charging from this side. Some Chevaux Leger. These two units are definitely mine. I don't remember if these guys are mine either. I don't. I, I think that's his. I, I don't remember to be honest. <laughs> I really don't remember. Oh, so remember, I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to keep Napoleon out of action so he stays alive. I didn't really do much with Napoleon in this fight. Like, I I, I think I, I inspired my my men once. Or or rallied them once, and that was all I did with them. Look at that, Napoleon's even the last one to go in here. So this is kind of upsetting what happens. Spoiler. Here we are. Sir, your general has been oh, Napoleon died in the first charge. 
It's like, wh what did he do? Did he like, like, I don't know, like shoot himself when he was right into fight, right into battle? And what's really sad is we don't kill the Duke. The Duke does get away. Wait, does he? Let's see. No, I think we killed him. I don't know. He. But there is the uh, the aftermath of this of this mayhem here. Let's see how much of my, my my cav did. So yeah, you can see my, my cav did a lot of got a lot of kills. Not this one though. This one got seventy seven. This one got forty four kills. This one got forty six. One got fifty three. Let's see who had the most kills on my side. I mean, my Fusiliers did so much. Look at that, 209 for that one unit. Let's see my artillery. Oh, look at these skirmishers. 147 kills. My artillery... Yeah, they got 100 combined. So, I, you know, my artillery is more of a psychological piece. Can I see theirs? I cannot. But yeah, good game to everybody. And I will show the other battles too uh, when I get the replays. Oh, and um, and please, uh, if if you want to help me out, guys, you know I don't ask for much help, but if you guys want to help me out, please go to my other channel, or uh, please go to my video description and click on the link. I made this Halloween video where I went to this place called Sir Henry's Haunted Trail, and it's one of Florida's uh, best kept uh, Halloween secrets. And uh, they they let me film inside because I was doing media work. And I think it's a really cool event, but uh, if you could, just, just click on it. Maybe watch a few minutes of it. And if you like it, watch the whole thing. Maybe comment and uh, and drop a like. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you to uh, Pixelated and Ryan for inviting me to the stream. I will show the other battles uh, when I can. And good game to the other players who came out to the stream.